Hi everyone, Deathclaw Girl here, and welcome to another one of my videos. In this video, pretty soon I'm going to let Vampress take over, and she's going to be doing a tour and location of these great, great generators. So yes, the Mole Miner, Mole Miner, <laughs> Mole Rat Generator Suites. There's four and all, so yeah, she's going to show you all those, uh, give you a little history, and tell you where they're located. And before that, let me just give you some news if you haven't heard. Foshnot has started. Yes, so on the hour, every hour, there will be a Foshnot event that you can go to. So definitely, definitely go check that out. And if you haven't heard, I created some Deathclaw Girl art and I made merchandise out of it. So yeah, if you'd like to help support my channel, take a look at the artwork. Otherwise, that is it for me. Deathclaw girl out. All right, Vampirus, where are you at? Over here. Yeah, a little closer. There, there, closer, closer, closer. Okay, thank you. Ah, yes, thank you. Thank you, Deathclaw girl. So, yes, I really, really love these uh, mole rat generator sweets. So, let me uh, show you. It is in the atomic shop, so that is where you purchase them. And they are, I believe, a standalone, so this is the perfect time to go grab them. Now, I don't know the exact price because we already own it. Uh, as you can see, there are four different designs that I will be showing you in detail. So yes, this is one of the most uh, anticipated and uh, received, greatly high praise received generators. Just because they are so cute is like having a pet at your camp. Now of course this is not the first time that these generators have appeared. Um, what I'm going to do is move Deathclaw Girl out of the way, she won't mind. And some of these uh, generators just so we have more room really uh, look at these now we are in a shelter so yes yes you can build these in a shelter so let me show you where you build them at you actually will go over to generators and they're going to be in four different sections so under small you just uh, click over till you come across the small one you go down to the medium size again you just click over uh, same thing for the large, you'll just click over till you find it, and then the super duper or fusion one, again, you just click over. Now, you can purchase these skins anytime, but you can only build them if you know the plants. So I will tell you that. So you can always purchase them, and as you learn them, you can build these different sizes. So uh, let us start with the little one. I'll bring it back over now. We'll take a really good look at it. I am floating it so that we can see all its cuteness. Now, of course, you can only float it in a shelter unless you have the uh, skills to do so elsewhere. Otherwise, no floating. Uh, you might be able to set it up on something if you're wanting people to see the actual mole that's in it. Now, this uh, small one comes with a uh, a single mole rat and you can see that electricity is a flowing through these different devices so ah, that one's really nice and let's see if we can get an overhead shot look at the teeth I, this is one of the best things they have ever come out with you can see like the gas cap on that one again that is where you connect it with the connector at the end towards the end i will show you how to connect these up now let's go to the medium size i think it's already set no it's backwards hold on let me turn it around otherwise all you're seeing is mobots aha and it did not work i i try again uh, my skill with building is less than death call girls. Okay, square, not square, X. Ah, okay. So yes, 
Uh, Dead Claw Girl still considers herself a beginner, not a novice, but a beginner. I am definitely more novice. All right, with the uh, medium size, again, you can see the electricity. Ah, oh, such good detail. Sparks are flying. Again, yeah, look at the sparks flying. This would re really look cool in the dark air, which we will take um, probably all of them over just so you can see what they do look like in a dark place. But this one comes with two. Again, uh, slightly, slightly different. Still love the teeth on these. And here are the Mobots. Uh, these, the small and the medium, all sit on a wooden like crepe top. And now let's go to the large. Again, nice, nice detail on the shooting up on the uh, electricity. Again, that's where you hook it up. And this one has three. So, yes, if you're wanting a pet that will work for you and help generate energy for your cat, this this generator set is definitely, definitely for you. Someone do me a favor and throw in the atom price since I cannot see. I'm assuming it's probably on sale. And now we see more butts. More butts are pretty good details. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, of course, my favorite, favorite, favorite one is the Fusion because it comes with the glowing mole rats. And yes, we got Tumbly. Tumbly, he, he, he's, he's slower than the other two, so he, he kind of has the roll to catch up or, or force roll. Yes, he says, whoops, and hee hee. But he does not give up. He still continues to run. So let's go and look. Now, since this is a fusion, there's no sparkly sparkly, but there's plenty of glow, molats, and this reader. Oh, they they doing really good. Look at that. You go, guys. You, you work good. Now, don't forget, you do need to give them snacks every once in a while to make them happy. Usually, a Death Claw Girl and myself, we don't like the ankle biters, but we love, love these ankle biters so yes so there's three plus three is six plus two is eight so you get nine ro mole rat babies for your camps so that now you can have a pets all right let me now take these over one by one and show you what they look like in the dark darker area. It's not complete dark, but it's a darker area. Let's see, is this it? And I need to adjust some of these lights. They're too bright. So I think all I gotta do is turn them. Yes, you never know uh, how you have to alter the set just so that you can get... Ah, there you go. See, got some nice sparkle, sparkle going on. This is the small one. Oh, you can see even more zappy, zappy. I love you. I should name one. You, you are teeth, teethy, teethy, because I love your teethy. Let me move this out of the way and grab the next one. Oh yeah, it's nice, nice, very nice. Uh, this one's got more zappy zap because you got uh, two. So Twiddly D and Twiddly Dom is uh, what I call you two. Twiddly D, Twiddly Dom does a good job with the medium size generator. Oh, you're so, you're so helpful, you two. I move you out of the way. Go grab large. See, I thought it only came with uh, three. I keep forgetting about this uh, large one. Okay, so we have sparkles. Sparkles, no, no, sparks. 
I again I have found my Boston accent and I don't know how how that happened. I didn't spend a lot of time in Boston before the you know the the bombs dropped, but I guess it was enough for it to pop out every once in a while. I'm gonna go into camera mode so we can get up a little higher so you can see the really nice sparking. Again with the Boston, I don't know. All right, and we grab the final one. I forgot to move the other one out of the way, so I might need to do adjustments as I go over. We'll just put it up high for now and move you over here. Go, go. There you go. And then next I will... Oh, let you go. Ah, uh, hide seek. Did you get attached? I, I'm losing my mind. Okay. I am going to build a... Ah, oh, there you are. It must have got attached. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's get it about here so we can do good, good glow. So yes. Actually, I'm going to drop it. That's too high. You can't see top. Let's see if it'll let me. That's better. So yes. Look at see the circle glowing. It's a. This is probably the the most glowy. It's got a radius. Probably even looks really well in dark, dark places. And again, this is the fusion, so there's no sparkies. But uh, the glows are the best. So I don't know. What name should we give these three? So I gotta name these three still. And the three over here. Ah, oh, we call these. So which one should be the three musketeers? These guys or over there? I don't know. These are the three stooges. What, what was their names? Mo, Larry, and Curly? I, I think there was another one later, but yeah. Okay, I got names for them all. Nice. All right. So now I show you about connecting. So uh, it's easy, very easy to connect. Um, but what I'm going to do first is put out a power connector. This helps establish your power to an item. So you put it out. Now, some things you can direct hook to your generator but what you do is you highlight you see it's like green blue I'm gonna hit attach wire and attach wire and now this pylon will take any type of item that needs to be powered um, let me put out something I was thinking for the core there is a clown or anything clown is a clown don't want to take a lot of time for you because, yeah, you've got other things to be doing than be searching for a clown. I don't remember what it's at. Oh, we do this thing. All right, this is a casino C. It requires power. It says power. Now, see, it is lit up. So let me grab it and let me see, make sure I was doing this right. Well, the problem is that there's a generator there, too. Okay, but anyway. You get the idea. It's very simple in shelters to actually connect power because, yeah, these things are. But in a camp, you just need to put some type of pylon or other type of power connector. So there are other types. Let me show you real quick in case you're not unfamiliar. All right, so this is a stand up. It easily goes behind something. Down here, you see something. This basically goes on the ceiling on top of a floor now these are the wall ones these are probably the ones you'll want to be familiar with because you can just run them up a wall to wherever you need to connect something and then they're just different designs all right uh, that is it for this uh tour and location um uh, that Claw Girl wanted me to plug, of course, uh, the merchandise uh, that she has created out of her artwork. I, I don't know. She has not drawn me yet. I am very upset that she has not made a, a, an artwork of me. I think I think all of you would, would want an artwork of me. And maybe, 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 uh, I, I don't know, I'm me doing something. I, I have no idea. I'm not artistic enough. But yes, I, I think I'm just not even going to talk about at Death Club Girl, merchandise, promotional items, buy socks, t-shirts, hoodies. I'm not going to talk about that at all. Links in the description. So yes, 
until she makes a drawing of me i am just yeah i refuse i refuse to even mention it all right that's it for this tone location if you have any questions if you'd like me to test out um the generator doing something because you're not sure it's going to work for you throw it in the comments i or death clock girl will do our best to get an answer for you all right like i said that's it goodbye keep your fangs sharp and yes goodbye these cuties uh, the three stooges mole lay and curly are waiting for you in the atomic shop want more like share and leave a comment